Hi guys, what's up? Um, so I've had a few um, messages regarding the tank on the other side of the room, which is this one here, um, with a few people saying, you know, what tank is it, what's in it? And it's the um, Aqua One version two, I think it's called a Aqua One Aqua Reef, and it's the Aqua Reef 195 series. It's the version two, so it does come with like LEDs and like protein skimmer and the heater and pump, but I haven't used the protein skimmer and I haven't used the lights that came with it. Um, I bought it in April, we're September now, and I set it up as a, a mini predator tank. Um, just with some soft corals. So what I'm going to do is I thought I'd show you this one. All right, okay, so here it is. Um, it's just got soft corals in it for now. I am actually trying to grow, um, I'm going to try and grow some uh, like plating monty on the back there. Um, and currently it's got one ribbon eel, a frogfish and a copper band butterfly. The copper band butterfly is in there because it had a little aptasia problem and I can't put peppermint shrimp in because, well, the other, the other two will probably eat them. So um, I'd really like to get like a dwarf uh, lion fish for this tank as well. Um, so what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll give you a little show. There's the frogfish doing his thing. He's super cool. And here's Mr. Ribbon Eel coming up to say hello. He's so cool. So the, yeah, he's frozen. He's he's so entertaining. Honestly, I could spend hours with him. All right, and here we've got my sump. So I've got the Bubble Mangus uh, Curve 5 skimmer. I've got a secondhand UV steriliser here, which I'm gonna be turning on soon. I've just bought a new bulb for it. Um, it's the Vectron 200, so, and I've bought some new, whatever they are, um, so that I can run it a bit better. My dosing lines, obviously they're there. Um, and I'll flip the phone in. So we've got the light, we've got the refugium, um, got the what else have we got? We've got the temperature controller here, which I've just mounted to the door, and then we've got where is it there? And then we've got the um, power for the J cod return pump. But yeah, it's a nice little sump. I wish I could fit my Tunzi in there, my Tunzi skimmer, but hey ho. Um, I could probably take out one of these baffles here, um, but I don't know, that all sounds like a lot of hard work. This seems to be keeping up all right, this bubble mangus. I mean, I'd, I'd much prefer to use my Tunzi skimmer, so it is what it is. The only thing about changing the filter socks is you have to undo the union here to, um, to change the filter socks, and that's a bit of a nightmare. But other than that, you know, it's fairly, it's fairly easy and straightforward to keep this tank. It's a, it's a good starter tank, I think. All right, guys, if you like this video, if you want to see more about my tanks and stuff like that, like, uh, share, subscribe, uh, comment as much as you can. Um, I'll try to get back to everybody. Um, yeah, and um, I'll be putting out another video very soon. Cheers.